Hello, my name is Shadalia, and welcome back for another episode of Victoria 3 as Papal States. In the previous episode, we managed to annex Luca, or incorporate Luca into the Papal States. We're working on improving relations with Tuscany, and I think probably soon enough we might be able to get them in. Like, we've got good relations with them. Uh, the relations are still going up, so that's actually quite nice. So we've got the uh, Drake Agreement, and we've got the Defensive Pact. So that is increasing the relations, and thus so we could form the alliance probably soon enough. And that is probably the point where they will most likely join in to the customs union and then in due time join Papal State itself. So then we'll have all of Northern Italy. We are a little bit uh, behind in the historical schedule, I believe, uh, of uh, Italy forming up, but that's alright. We're, we're working our own uh, tracks here. But we really haven't started laying down the tracks either. Which is probably part of the issue. But there we go. Now we're making £3,000 per week. So that's just going to be improving. Especially if and when we get the interventionism. How are we doing on the coal price? Actually, the easiest way to check is probably through here. So the coal prices, we got a little bit extra coal. Not much, mind you. Uh, we still need a lot of porcelain. Would the glassworks be profitable now? Um, just about. I guess we'll get one more... Production level for that. Do we have where do we have the lead mine again? Is that that's probably in Sardinia. No, we don't have lead mines in Sardinia. Is it in here? Oh yeah, over here we got some. There's only 40 lead that we produce though. Well, I suppose we don't need a huge amount, do we? Not really. I mean we need um 40. Okay, we need a little bit more now. Grassroot support for the law. Romania lower strata would become more loyalist. I'm going to take the 20% chance, so now we've got 78% chance of uh, progress in the law. Uh, so eventually that will succeed, but it might still take a while. So how is the military that we have? We've got 35 battalions total, of which 25 are infantry, we've got 3 cavalry and 7 artillery. So what we might do is go ahead and get ourselves a little bit more artillery. Like 3 more artillery, and then maybe 2 more cavalry. And that way we'll have a relatively good... Uh, 40 battalions total. 25 of which are infantry. Ooh. Danish colonization of Togo complete. Alright then. I suppose we've got... Yeah, that's where we share an interest, so that's good. Uh, the civil plantation in Lazio, which is to say our capital, is completed now. That's starting to hire us some more. We don't have a huge demand for silk, but that seems to be fine. We might actually go ahead and... Uh, could try reducing the taxes. Ooh. Right, improve relations with uh, two Sicilies broken. Who should we improve relations with now? We could improve relations with... Oh. You know what? Austria, maybe. Or well, Prussia is also pretty close. We'll improve relations with Prussia. And then I think Greece would be a... Good potential ally against the Ottomans. I mean, they're not strong, mind you. But uh, a potential, at least, uh, helper in the region. Now, with Tuscany, how are we doing on the... Assembly Union, we don't really have the option to do on the alliance right now either. We'd have to have a bit more diplomacy points available. I'm sure that that will get sorted out in due time. So we're getting the port in Emilia soon. That should fix the infrastructure issues there, at least partially. Although, how much do we need infrastructure in there? Ah, we do need quite a bit more than that. Well, as I have a suspicion that the population over here is growing fairly quickly. There's a decent bit of migration. Pop growth is pretty good. And the standard of living isn't too bad either in here. So we've got 9.7 average. Uh, which is actually the highest that we've had in this run, oddly enough. Now I suspect that Emilia might actually be a big portion of that. I mean, if we have a look at other states, so well, 9.7, that's 10, 9.2, 10.8, 9.6, 9.8, and in Africa it's probably something like 7 or 8. 8.5, okay. There's still quite a bit of work to do there. So if we do want to do some warfare, uh, maybe taking Tunis wouldn't be too bad of a step to t go for Tripolitania later on. Oh, Netherlands colonized Congo. Alright then. Oh yeah, they started in there. Oh no. I wanted to get there. But I can't because I don't have Quinn in yet. Well, we've got classworks already underway. University of Emilia is almost done. So that will give us a bit more innovation. It's not like it's only three points something. That we'll get from that, but again, it's still an improvement. How are we doing on the... Oh, Lord Brogues Amendment, finally. Uh, how are we doing on Iron? We actually got quite a bit extra. Which is in European relations. I might go ahead and increase this one. No, that's already in Iron Frame. Which states doesn't have the Iron Frame building then? Romania? 
Yeah, no, that's the little wooden frame. So we would reduce the wood and fabric a little bit, a bit more tools and iron. So it will cost us a bit more, but at the same time, that will increase the contraction speed a bit further. And I think we might still have a few other places. No, that's already iron frame, and I'm guessing this one's already iron frame as well, isn't it? No, that's still in wood frame. Okay, I'm going to put the iron frames there, and then we might have to increase the iron mine levels here a tiny bit. But that way we can build faster. We will be spending a lot more money in the construction right now, but as soon as the intervention isn't done, that's actually going to be a decent bit of savings for us then. Going to be another, well, especially, well, except, effectively it's going to be another £7,000 that we'll be making, which does mean the investment pool might be reducing in size for a brief moment, but still, that's going to be a huge savings for us. We can then lower the taxes, which means that the standard living will start uh, going upwards. Not really a huge degree, but it will go better. Uh, we've got a budget deficit, so we need to have um, gold reserves. Yeah, that's basically it. So that's going to be one of the missions. Colonized states, we haven't done that yet. Uh, obligations, we haven't really started earning yet. We've got the central banking, though. But I suppose in Italy, there's now only four states. Oh, there's the Freedom plus Austria, I suppose. But San Marco, Tuscany, two Sicilies, and us. So we don't actually need to... Oh, Shelkan is spreading you. Yeah, actually, we knew that would happen, didn't we? So now it's going to be the glassworks and then some of the barracks has been built. That will increase some of the expenditure, but also increasing our prestige by the virtue of having a larger military. We won't really be able to colonize there, other than by conquering Congo, I suppose. They don't really have a... yeah, no, they've got nine battalions. Of course, we don't have a fleet to land troops in there is the problem. Unless I can get someone like... Um, Netherlands to help me so that I can land troops into their territory first and then go from there. We lost a little bit loyalists. But that is what happens sometimes. So I think that may have just been a bit of a drop in the standard of living there. At least the population is now at its uh, highest. Of course, how's the relation with Tuscany? Are we now able to... Not able to form the alliance yet. And even a obligation wouldn't quite work. Oh, now it would. Right, revolution. Oh, France is having a bit of a revolt there. All right, then. Ooh, Austria sides with France. Well, I mean, I'm not surprised by that. Oh, Lord Rose is voting. Excellent. So what about San Marco? We're still improving relations with you. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to invite you to my customs anytime soon. But eventually, we might be able to form a defensive pact or something. We probably have to start. To, well, we're still improving relations with them for a while. And there's the glassworks done. There we go. So a bit more porcelain will be available. And um, actually... We need a whole lot more paper. So a paper mill might be a relatively... Actually, we might want to build a paper mill in here, quite frankly. Because we produce sulfur in there already. We do produce some... Uh, actually, no, we don't produce sulfur there. We do produce sulfur in Sardinia. Which also would be potentially a good location for a paper mill. So how's the taxation capacity in Piedmont? It's still 13.7, so we haven't gotten the... No, we did get the boost there, but it's still a very, very small increase. Overall, but I guess we could build another level. Keep that going. I think we're going to declare neutrality on the French Revolt thing. I don't think I'm actually needed there. First of all, I can't join in anymore at this point anyway. So our military size has been increased to 40 battalions. We have no contrips. We could probably get a little bit contrib battalions, but uh, I prefer to use the standing army, quite frankly. Since we have a bit of smaller impact on the economy overall. But then it does have some... Uh, cost or running costs that you need to pay at all times so you know it's a bit of a, a choose your poison type of thing i suppose but the motor industries aren't really all that profitable yet we could maybe put in the no that wouldn't really make it much more profitable either but of course once we get the railways researched which um after the chemical bleaching might be a thing oh that's also going to give us the paper bleaching oh excellent we might need to get some more dye plantations we'll give another level in there we're going to have a decent bit of agriculture overall in uh, the Niger Delta, so that's actually pretty nice. Is there, well, there's a province of, oh right, 15 infrastructure. That's actually pretty handy. Modify to have in there. Oh, that looks like the fighting in France has begun. And it looks like the French are crushing the revolt quite handily. Well, I'm thinking that maybe I should just form the alliance with a obligation once they're willing to take it. Because right now they're not. It would be, okay, it's minus 12. So they're not quite... Oh, and there we go. Now they would take the with the obligation. So if we form an alliance with uh, Tuscany, they're probably more likely to join into the customs union. Ooh, and we got interventionism. Here we go. 
That will probably increase the... Oh yeah, now we're getting £9,000 per week. I'm just going to go ahead and recruit the taxes a little bit. We're still... Well, actually, we're losing a bit of money right now. It's not too bad. And the private sector will start taking a bit more responsibility on the construction of things. The chemical bleaching is almost done. That's probably going to turn us into making a profit again. But the deficit right now is very manageable. Oh, well, there we go. Already making more money. The private sector is getting a furniture manufacturing, a banana plantation, logging camp, another banana plantation. So a lot of fruit, apparently. France is colonizing more and more. Uh, right, so are you... You're still on your independent market, at least. We're not willing to join into the customs. That's the chemical bleaching. Let's go ahead and switch uh, the bleaching for both the paper. Uh, so that's just going to require a lot of dyes and same probably with the glass works, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, the glass price actually is going to soar quite a bit because of that. But that just means that the glass works are probably just going to be a whole lot more profitable. Although right now, they still need to hire a lot more people. So I suppose the porcelain, well, the porcelain price is going to be low. Oh, a fractional distillation is spreading. Okay, I mean, that's kind of handy as well. We're still making good uh, 3,000 pounds per week profits and... Oh, actually, we're losing a little bit in um, bureaucracy, but we're building a, the administration center in here, in Piedmont, so that will at least uh, fix part of the issue. The motor industry... Actually, is there shipyards? We could use the reinforced ships, if need be, to keep the engine production going, but I don't think we need the clippers, really. One of the things that we could do is uh, maybe build another fishing wharf in here. What do we have? Industrial boom. We'll get the manufacturing industries and service industries throughput in Umbria. There's a bit more tools, food and furniture. And of course, more services. That'll be somewhat handy at least. We might want to start uh, increasing the construction speed a bit further as well. Piedmont is probably one of those places that should probably get another level of construction sectors. Get that one at least there. Because we've got quite a bit of things queued up right now. So it will take some time before we get the full benefits of it. But at least the... Uh, GDP is uh, growing at a steady speed. We've got almost 42% uh, literature rate now. And standard of living is back to 9.8. I'm hoping that it will keep on growing slowly from there. We'll at least get to 10 or higher. But uh, yeah, it might take a while. Population is uh, slowly approaching towards 10 million. Of course, if we can get Tuscany into our market, then that is going to take care of another problem. The fact that we've got the alliance and the trade agreement does increase our relations with a fairly steady speed. Like every 40 days we get another point there. So I think there might be a decent chance that in the next few years they will join in. Raising concerns. Ah, Intelligentsia gets a bit of a boost. You know what? Yeah, we can take that one. Get the Intelligentsia slightly happier. We might even get the um, Society Research boost there soon-ish. If that sort of stuff keeps happening. Now, we actually are not trying to pass any law, so let's go ahead and get the per capita taxation. I know the civic nobility doesn't like that, trade unions don't like that either, but uh, that will increase our income drastically. Probably should have started passing that ages ago. I suppose another thing that we could do is we could get a fishing warp in uh, Niger Delta. And also, maybe we... How's the local price for wood? That's a decent bit of extra production in there, so it's not too bad. We don't have any industries in here, but I suppose one of the things that we might want to do... We don't have a cotton plantation or anything like that, so um, clothing might not be the best option. Uh, Emilia gets uh, migration destruction. Actually, that's fine. And we can also encourage Italian nationalism again. Let's see if we can't get some more stuff out of uh, that. I mean, Tuscany still isn't quite willing. Oh, no, it's uh, minus 49 now. It was 51 not that long ago. Oh, now it's 51 again. Never mind. Uh, I wonder, what's in their market right now? Uh, they need a lot of liquor. They need some clothing, some furniture. They could use some small arms. We can export some of our small arms, actually, because we can produce a lot more than that. Because we got the small arms in Romania? No, it's in Piedmont, is it? Yes, Piedmont. And, okay, it is producing full speed, but the price is still fairly low. So we got, actually, a decent increase in there. And that just makes it a bit more profitable. It increases the trades that we have between our nations. And that will probably give us just a little bit more chance of uh, getting them joining in. How's the GDP? Oh, the GDP is just around 2 million. So that's what's causing the fluctuation there. If they go below 2 million, which they might. And that will cause some more issues there. Uh, what else could they need? Or what do they have, rather? Of course, if I trade with them, that will increase their GDP, I suppose. 
So I don't know if that's the best option, but at the same time, our relations are almost maxed out. We've got some ideological differences. Our GDP is definitely higher than theirs, but they are also getting a little bit GDP over time. It's only minus one from the GDP higher than two million. So it's not that bad. Ooh, we'll stand up living at ten now. Let's go allies. Here we get, uh, Sabine so Nobility gets more pop attraction, but we get 20% success chance. Um, or we, you know what, we'll sustain that. I know that making the landowners uh, stronger and stronger doesn't really help our cause, but at the same time, getting the uh, per capita taxation will be very handy, in fact. And, okay, corporate charges already underway, so that is uh, going to allow us to find a corporation. Let's actually have a look at the options that we have. Attainable ones, so is that one? No. I don't find fear quite yet either. Um, grain society is a possibility. Fabric society is a possibility. Plantations, well, we don't have any opium or tea plantations, so we can't do that one. At least uh, not opium. Uh, coffee and sugar, we need to have at least level 10. So we can't really do that one. Silk and dye company. Either dye or silk plantation to level 10. So that, that would be more influence. Uh, the vineyards, actually, that would be more prestige. That would be quite handy. Fishery would give us more convoys. Forestries. Right, we don't have that one yet. We don't have oil or gold. Metal combined. Well, I suppose it's kind of a possibility. Well, not really something we could do right now, but uh, later on. Ooh, wood Corporation. We need to get a level 5 wood industry. We got a level 2 in one place, and then one in two places. So we're still making pretty good money, so we're paying off the loans. That's good. We are going to be increasing the contraction speed a bit uh, further soon enough, but we might also go ahead and build another university in Piedmont. That has a lot of workers in there, and of course another place to improve is maybe our capital. Get that another two levels. So that would give us another nine, a bit more than nine innovation, getting us relatively high in there, like around 83 to 84. Well, there we go, law progress to amendment. So we are going to get the better taxation probably soon. And that's going to allow us to reduce the taxes drastically. Like right now, we almost could reduce the taxes, but I probably won't do that quite yet. There's the corporation charges. So let's have a look. What are the options that we actually could do? There's a vineyard for the prestige. That would be quite handy. Although the productivity isn't very high. So none of these actually have very high productivity. I'm kind of tempted to go with the paper waters though. Even though it's not profitable right now. But if we do that one. And let's have a look at where could we sell our wine. We've got plenty of it. The French market. I mean, I don't think the French will buy a lot. They got their own. Maybe. We'll start with Austria. And maybe we'll do some to Prussia as well. But that way we can hopefully start to increasing the profitability of our vineyards. And that will uh, fix a lot of the issues. We don't have a tax waste anymore, so that's good. Because we've got the bureaucracy issue fixed. Uh, how's the... Oh, well, the tax capacity over here, of course, is fixed. So I, I might go ahead and just build another one there, just in case. I don't think there's any other tax waste air or issue areas right now. You know, I don't think there's uh, problems. The wages... Okay, so in most places, they are between 2 and 5. Uh, except in Africa. Which, to be fair, the wages over there are also going to be increasing slowly. We're going to be getting a few universities soon. And we got the corporate charges. What is spreading in here now in society? It is modern sewerage. I mean, that's not a bad one either, to be fair. It does lead to steel. Oh, it leads to it. doesn't unlock the steel frame buildings yet, but it does lead to it. Right, so San Marco House, the relations with you, not that much better. And two Sicilies. We could form a defensive pact with you, possibly. You know what? I'll do it. We didn't need to give an obligation, but that's fine. And how's the relation with Tuscany now? Uh, they probably won't be willing to join in yet. No, not yet. We've got a bit more trade with, between us, and ideological differences between the governments are actually less now. But that's good. We've got good relations. I don't think they can go much higher. Not much higher, at least. So I'm just thinking, how much could we make them to want to join us? Minus 43 still. I mean, if we increase our GDP over time there, you will probably join in. It's me or them. Um, how's the approval? Okay, it's five. I don't want to reduce the career's uh, uh, approval, so yeah. We'll just reduce the civic unity. Oh, and there we go. Progress to voting. So just one more good roll and we'll have the better taxation. And then we're going to reduce a taxation 
uh, quite a bit. We actually have a little bit extra authority. Did we have a... I'm going to put in the promote resource industry in here. There's a whole lot of mines inside in here. Or a good selection of mines. There's not a lot of mines there right now, of course, but we can build quite a few there. Benin proposes trade agreements. I'm not sure. If we can uh, get Benin as a part of the market as well. Then I'm okay with that. I could form a defensive bat, but uh, I don't think they want to join into customs union yet. Although it's not far off either. I suppose they're probably buying a lot of stuff from me, aren't they? Let's actually have a look. Trade routes. So, all trade routes. Benin. Oh yeah, Benin's got quite a bit. One, two, three, four, five. Five trade routes. Alright then. Also... Oh yeah, we're exporting a lot of wine to USA already. And we're exporting a decent bit of clothing to Tuscany. Some uh, hardwood to... Oh, right, and these two aren't really profitable. Right then. So I'm guessing the wine company isn't really all that much of money yet. I suppose once we start increasing standard of living, so there's going to be a bit more um, demand for the wine locally. Or domestically, that will already help a little bit. And of course, if we reduce the worker numbers in there and all that, that will probably help make it more profitable as well. Namely, that is, of course, going to require the um, railways, which we haven't started researching yet. I would like to, but uh, like I'm just going to rely on the what is it, uh, spreading at a time. It gives a bit of a randomness to what we are actually going to get at which point, but it'll be fine. Oh, oh I can't offer the obligation there yet. Right, how long do we have the obligation? Eight years left, okay. I don't know if we need to wait that long. There's a good chance that they will maybe start uh, willing or might want to start joining in. It's minus three without the obligation, okay. So yeah, that's getting better. Philanthropy. Uh, encourage charitable giving. Or we can leverage their support for per capita education. Um, standard living increase for slower strata is actually not bad. That will increase the standard of living quite a bit. And thus improve a lot more loyalists, a lot less radicals. Oh yeah, there we go. That's a huge improvement in there. Across the board. And we've got almost 15 million GDP now. So that's growing. Literate rate isn't a huge increase. But it's okay. We can't improve any of these quite yet. Because we don't have the bureaucracy for it. So there we go. Wheat farm increased there. We are going to get some more textile mills in Umbria. We're getting the universities now built. But that's going to speed up the research quite nicely. But there's still quite a bit of um, work to do in there. To get all of that. Plus, we've got the government administration after that. So, what else do we need? Uh, apparently, we need more lead. Also, actually, we've got a bit of uh, market access problems with Emilia and Piedmont. Is that one? Well, oh, yeah, they've got a whole lot of infrastructure in there. And we still can't build the railway, so I guess it's more ports. I mean, on the bright side, it does give us a lot of convoys to use for trading. So, it's not nearly all bad. Uh, how much... Um... Oh, we could declare another interest. Sure. Where do we want to start trading? There's one of the options that we could do is start trading into China. It's a huge market to tap into. So now if we have a look at some of the stuff that we have a lot, for example. Exporting some wine. Well, I suppose we can't do it yet, of course. Because we just uh, activated that, so we'll need to wait until it's actually ongoing. And then uh, we can maybe start selling wine to China. I don't know if that's going to be the best, but uh, that's probably going to be a decent profitability for the vineyards. Another option, of course, would be to get to the Russian market, or like start trading with the Russians a bit further and all that. My right, Tuscany, you know, you're still not willing to join in. Yeah, it's a minus four without the obligation, so it's not that far off, actually. That's their... No, the GDP hasn't dropped. Ours just has been growing steadily, and of course we've got quite a bit of trade going on between our nation, so that's probably doing quite a bit of it. We are going to get to taxation law, hopefully now. There we are. So that's going to be a huge boost for taxes. I'm just going to reduce the taxes to normal again. And there's still going to be a huge increase in there. Uh, you know what? We could probably go even to low taxes. And maybe I shall remove one of the luxury taxes. Uh, we'll, well, I'm going to leave that as a... Actually, I could put an interest or the um, thing over here for the... Agriculture. Oh, we got the encourage agriculture there already. Never mind. 
Oh, now we've got the South China interest active. Okay, so let's go ha and have a look. Would this be profitable to sell to China? No, the Russian market would be somewhat profitable. Qing market is not. Okay, what else? Is there something that they need desperately in there? That I know that we've got plenty. Uh, they need coal. They need groceries. Actually, that might be somewhat profitable, actually. I mean, right now, we don't have a huge shortage of um, groceries, luckily. If we were to export that to Jing Market, oh yeah, there we go. That's going to make the food industries a lot more profitable. And thus, we can just keep on increasing the sizes in here. Maybe we'll give that at least one more level. And thus, we'll get the liquor that we need and all that. So that is actually going to be a pretty good to way for us to get some money. we got the Ironclad now spreading. Let's go ahead and uh, queue that one up. Get a bit of fleet over time. And we got the shell gun right, so that's uh, allowing us to... Does that... That allows us to produce the artillery a little bit more effectively. But do we still have... Oh, the iron mine. Okay, let's put the condensing pumps in there. Might require a bit more coal, but that's fine. Uh, right, so the tooling workshops, we might switch all of those soon enough. Arms industries, I'm going to put the rifles in all of them. Uh, yeah, it might not be profitable. Smooth balls will also start producing a bit more artillery in there. Or in those, so I think... I'm going to increase the tool production everywhere using steel. And then we'll just go ahead and increase the steel mill in Piedmont. It will probably start making a whole lot more money now. But of course, it's going to make some other industries not be as profitable. For a brief moment, at least. But there we go. We're getting £7,500 of cash. We could probably go ahead and build another construction section. Actually, do we have a construction section down here yet? No, we don't. Let's get one in Africa. What's the worst that could happen? But that allows us to expand our dye and sugar plantation, especially in there. Maybe a bit of the tobacco and other things. Slightly faster, that is. Okay, so Tuscan... Oh, no, they still don't want to join. Okay. How bad is that? It's minus four. Hmm. We've got genial attitude and we've got friendly relations, so that does make quite a bit of a difference there. We do still need to increase either the volume or just increase our... Or volume of trade or just increase our things in there. So they could use a bit of liquor. And furniture. Is there anything else that they need a lot? Uh, not really. I mean, what do we have already in there? We are exporting already liquor. And clothing and small arms in there. And what do they have in large quantities? They don't have a lot of iron, actually. I could start importing some of this. So we'll have cheaper iron. And that way, there's going to be even more trade going back, uh, back and forth. And then they're even more likely to join in. And it's minus three. Of course, our um, industry will be growing a bit further. I'm probably going to give a few more coal mines over here. Make another five also. But that's going to make a lot of the other productions a lot cheaper. And of course, in places where we have a low worker count, like in here, we can start reducing the labor count. Um, we can start using the precision tools, actually, to make even more luxury furniture. And the tooling workshop, we could maybe use the water tube boilers. But it's a bit more unemployed there. It's not too bad. Over here we've got quite a bit of peasants. So mostly I'm going to start using those in areas where there's just not enough workers to begin with. We will have plenty of coal available. The Arts Academies aren't really all that profitable yet. That's a bit of a problem. Although I do wonder actually, would there be places for us to export that into? To America? Sure. That might actually be quite profitable. That's going to start increasing the production a bit. So we're not leading producer on anything. But that's fine. We've got a 15.2 million GDP now. So Tuscany, are you still... You are now at... Uh, oh, it would be in minus 6, actually. So the volume of trade routes actually actually gone down a little bit. I could start bankrolling them. If that's going to give us the extra obligation, that will give us another uh, objective done. Plus, if they got the... Or if we have their obligation, then we're going to just force them to join in. And then we can incorporate them into our nation. Oh. And... No, I'm not going to enter the British market. I've got my own market, and it's, uh, well, it's not large, it's working. But I do see that we are actually out of time with this episode. So if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, got the links down below in the description. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. Until the next time, bye-bye.